Oxford from the inside. The good, the bad, but always the truth. Hi everyone, I'm Anna and welcome to a new episode of Oxford from the inside. The good, the bad, but always the truth. Today we're joined by M, Ria and Aidan to talk about Freshers Week. Would you guys like to introduce yourselves? Hi, um, I'm Em. I'm a second year physicist at Oro College and I'm the Equalities and Access Officer for the JCR here. Hi, I'm Ria and I'm the Entertainment Officer for Oriel College. Um, I'm a second year PPEist and my role is basically to oversee social events and like entertainment events within the college. Oh, Hi, you. I'm uh, I'm Aidan. I'm also a second GPTist here at Oriel. Um, and my role in the JCR is a male welfare officer. So I'm in charge of just uh, having chats with people, pretty much seeing how they're doing. Cool. Uh, thank you guys very much. Um, the JCR is like the junior common room. Um, it's the student body um, at each college in Oxford. So it's kind of um, where we organise things, we can um, voice any concerns that we have. Um, and yeah, and we're also in charge of organising Freshers' Week and the timetable. I'm the bar rep, which means I'm in charge of our college bar. Um, so I work a lot with the ENDS reps, as uh, Ria just said, um, yeah, to organise events at the bar. Yeah, um, so the first bit of the podcast is um, going to deal with kind of like the structure of Freshers Week because there are a lot of events that are going on and um, yeah so there are lots of different events and um, the reason why I asked M, Ria and Aidan to come is that they are kind of in charge of like the three aspects of Freshers Week I think there is um, lots of like social events going on but then there are also welfare events that will be run by college if you have any problems or any things that you would like to talk about. So I guess my first question would be if everyone could uh, just talk a bit about what you're going to organise for Freshers Week. Um, Aidan, if you could maybe go first. Absolutely. Um, so the welfare side of Freshers Week is quite important. It's quite a, a busy time, I think. Uh, so we've got a few events lined up for the Freshers. Um, the main one is going to be tea and toast in the JCR, that is the actual common room itself rather than the student body. Um, so that's going to be happening sort of late evening. Uh, it's just sort of an informal drop-in. People can come along, have a chat, have some tea, have some toast. Part of the idea of it is if people have gone out drinking, it can be a good way to sort of sober up before they go to bed. Uh, but that's not the whole point of it at all. It's just so that uh, anyone, uh, fresher or not, can come along and just have a chat, uh, meet people in quite a relaxed environment. Um, the other main event that Welfare, me and um, my counterpart, Team of Welfare at Harriet, are running is a Welfare brunch, a similar sort of idea, but obviously not middle of the night. Um, again, just a drop in for freshers to come along uh, so they can get to know us uh, and talk um, to us about anything that's sort of in their mind, because it can be quite a, it's a busy time um, and it can help just have a chat with other students. Um, those are the main things that we're running, but we're just going to be around as well in general. So you'll see us at um, some of the non-drinking events as well, um, helping out there. Um, cool, thank you. I really enjoyed uh, Tea and Toast last year, so I'm thinking it'll be really good this year too. Mm. Um, um, Ria, if you could maybe go next and tell us a bit about uh, the things that ENS has got planned. Um, Obviously, we work with the college and coordinate to make sure that we don't overlap with any of the official things. But generally, in the evenings or towards the end of the day, we'll arrange social events. So obviously, one of the biggest ones is welcome, like the Freshers' Welcome, which is normally a drinks event, but also a non-drinking um, welcome. And basically, it's just a chance for the entire year group to meet everyone and like they, they can do as much or as little as they want with that. They can come down for five, 10 minutes and see everyone or stay for the whole night. Um, generally we provide free drinks and um, just a chance to meet the committee and get to know their whole year group. And then throughout the rest of the week, there's a mix of events. So I think this year we've got 
a sports day lined up, which will be in our college sports grounds called Bartonless. We've also got, obviously we're in charge of club nights, which are um, one of the big parts of Freshers Week, but also creating non-drinking alternatives to people who don't want to go out clubbing. Uh, some examples of that would be like a movie night or our JCR has a table tennis table, which was quite well used last year. So we're going to do a, like a table tennis tournament one of the nights. And um, in the mornings, we're doing like informal drop-ins, which are supposed to be like, we're working with some of the other reps like charities and environment. And the idea for that is that if you're awake in the morning after say a night out or you just want a break from work or a break from all the heavy college talks and stuff, you get a chance to in between them come and drop in and maybe make some smoothies or decorate some cupcakes and get to know anybody from the committee who's around and just see people which you might like if you're up in your room alone in the mornings you might not be at the stage of you feel close enough to people to just pop up to their room and say hi so it's like a chance for you to meet people without having to go through that kind of stress we've also got the other big event of freshers week which is our college bop which is a big open party um they're one of the highlights of oxford entertainment um normally you dress up in a lot of interesting costumes there's always a theme this year we've got a theme for uh for the first one it'll be into the wild so we expect a lot of animal themed costumes some hunters some tarzan references uh it's always really exciting to see what people come up with to be honest but uh it's a great time in general and then we've got some slightly more like chilled out events which are definitely like non-alcoholic and um, we work with welfare with some of those so that they can take the lead in those but in general it's just a fun time of social events lined up for everyone. Oh, cool thank you that sounds uh, really busy so I guess it's really good that there are uh, events to relax as well and to just kind of drop in I think especially like the events in the morning uh, can be quite well because as you it can be quite good because as you mentioned it might be a bit stressful to just I don't know knock at someone's door if you don't really know them that well um, so that's a really good idea. Um, em, if you would maybe uh, like to go last and tell us about uh, what you've got planned for Freshers Week or what you'll be involved in. Yeah, for sure. So um, at any university, when people arrive, they come from such a wide range of different backgrounds and obviously they've all had very different experiences. So some of the events during Freshers Week are there to kind of bring everyone up to the same page on some things. Um, so for like the more serious aspect of things, we run consent workshops and anti-racism workshops here to like the, with materials that are provided by the student union. So these materials are probably going to be quite similar across all the colleges. Um, in addition to that, as equalities and access officer, I coordinate um, all the other equalities officers and those are women's officer, LGBT officer, um, international officer, class officer. <laughs> Sorry, there's quite a few. Um, Gosh, I can't remember them all. Um, I'm missing one. But anyway, um, ethnic, minor ethnic minorities officer, sorry, um, it's quite important. And all of these officers will have their own individual welcome events to welcome freshers that fall under these umbrellas. So obviously, with this intersectionality, there'll be people attending, you know, two or more um, events put on by the individual equalities officers. And the purpose of these is to get to know the JCR representatives for these and to get to know other people that maybe come from similar backgrounds to you, especially because Oxford is such a diverse community, it's going to be very different from what anyone has experienced at home. Um, thank you. I guess as an international student myself, I'm also really happy that um, the like college takes care of that as well. Um, I will also be going to like the international students event. I think it's a great way to maybe get to know people who are also wondering how things work in the UK and um, you know there's like things that you aren't really used to it's good to know that other people are feeling the same way um, and I guess also quite important role that um, you played but I guess this was during vacation is to organize college families I guess that was yeah. quite a lot of work um, so would you maybe like to uh, talk about that a bit as well like how college families work and what it is yeah, so college families are something that are a really nice aspect of college life. 
in that before you arrive as a fresher, someone, and in this case, it was me this year, um, pairs you up with a student that's going into their second year that does your subject, you know, subjects permitting. So this means that you get to know someone um, doing your subject in the year above when you arrive. In addition to that, there's college marriage. And that's something that usually happens during Freshers' Week. And at Oriel, at least, we encourage that you marry someone that doesn't do your subject. And then you, with that and your college children, you form a college family and you get to meet your college family during Freshers' Week. And in addition to your college family, there's also families like mentoring systems for um, equalities things. So there's an international college parent system. There's a class act, which is the student union campaign for um, class equality. There's a class act college parent system and there's also um, an LGBT college parent system so that means that not only do you get to know people through the um, events put on by the equalities officers you also get to know them more informally through like um, you know like a group chat or something people that come from similar um, backgrounds in that sense and face similar challenges. Um, I guess college families are one of the Oxford traditions that sound a bit odd when you first hear about them um, but I think it's a great way to um, meet people. And uh, yeah, so thank you for that. And also thank you for organising it. I think it was a lot of work. Um, so moving on, we've kind of talked about the way that Freshers' Week is going to be structured. And next, um, I thought we were going to get to the bit a bit more personal. So um, I would like to ask, like, what was your, your favourite um, memory of Freshers' Week last year? Or you can also talk about maybe something that you struggled with if uh, you feel like you wanted to share that or not, because I think it can be quite helpful um, for someone who is a fresher or who's going to go into Freshers' Week to just kind of hear about experiences uh, by other students. Uh, maybe I can maybe I can start this time. <laughs> so I'll start with my least favourite memory and then I'll get to my favourite memory. So I guess my least favourite memory would just be to feel, a, I think it's quite normal to feel a bit overwhelmed during Freshers' Week. Because, I mean, you guys have all talked about the amazing events that you're organising. Um, but I guess it's quite easy to feel a bit swamped, maybe, um, and to feel like you're pressured into going into all these different events because there is so much cool stuff that's going on. So I guess I felt a bit overwhelmed by all the events that were going on. Um, but I also found that there was great support by college. And I guess my favourite memory of Freshers' Week was just to probably to meet everyone on the first night and realise that they're all actually really nice. And, <laughs> and that um, I just felt like I could feel at home at Oreo quite quickly. I settled in quite well. The JCR did a great job last year, I think, despite COVID restrictions, I think. Um, there were enough events to get to know people which was great so I guess my favorite memory was just to um, you know move different move countries uh, you get there you're uh, you feel a bit lost and then I just kind of like realized that everyone was really welcoming and very nice and very helpful so I guess yeah my favorite memory was just feeling at ease quite quickly as well um, yeah and then I guess the events were cool too but I think just like personally, that was uh, what, yeah, that was my favorite memory, I guess. Um, oh yeah, no, my, my actual least favorite memory was the fact that you do get work set during Freshers' Week too. So I think that's something to keep in mind. Uh, it can be quite stressful to try and balance social events with trying to get um, started on work. Um, yeah, but you'll get through it, everyone does. Um, they just kind of throw you into the deep end and I guess just don't worry too much about work in Freshers' Week because tutors won't be expecting anything amazing um, after just, you know, just getting to Oxford. So, yeah, um, maybe I think Ria hasn't gone first yet. Maybe Ria, if you would like to uh, talk about your experience. Sure. So um, I guess if I'll start with least favourite things. Um, obviously the work, which... And I just mentioned um, it was a bit of a surprise, but also I don't know what I expected coming to Oxford. Um, and like a bit of, so obviously Oriel is trying quite hard to improve its diversity, but as a ethnic minority student from an area where you get 
quite a lot of ethnic minority people when I first got here. I was just a bit, I felt a bit out of place because I hadn't actually met anybody else who was brown for quite a while in the college. But I mean, even that got better quite quickly. I met who is now RJCR president, who is the most amazing ethnic minority Bengali. And it, I guess it was just a bit of a learning curve to actively have to find people like that. But I mean, it did work out. Uh, just took a while to find my feet with that. On the flip side, I did have a really good freshers week. Um, so I'm quite close with the last one of last year's ENTS reps and I know how much work she put in to make sure that even though we had COVID restrictions, we could still meet everyone. So they tried to do events outside quite a bit and that was, I mean, very rainy, but still fun. And I guess my favorite out of that would be the household party they did. So they put us in households because of COVID um, limitations, but by that time we'd already gotten to know some of the people we're living with and it was just a very solid bonding experience. Um, realistically speaking, people I met there, I'm still really close friends with. I'm living with some of them this year. So it's just been, I, I guess that was, it's just really nice to be able to feel like you can meet people and get to know them, even though we started uni in a year where coronavirus literally limited almost everything to do with socializing. Yeah, I agree. The house of party was uh, quite a good idea um, by last year's ENTS. Um, maybe M, if you would like to go next. Yeah, sure. Um, so I think my least favorite memory of Freshers Week is just kind of how sh harshly I had to learn how to look after myself um, because there's no one there to you know, look after you at uni. You have to, although there are people you can go to, you have to seek it yourself. And just things like making sure I drink tea in the morning and stuff to wake me up because um, all these things that you might not think about when you're at home because there's so much habit because um, uni has such an upheaval on your routine. You have to establish new routines and make sure that you look after yourself because if you don't, then you're not able to produce quality work and you're not able to enjoy yourself as much. So I think that that's probably my least favorite, favorite part of Freshers Week was you know, having a bad time and learning very quickly that I needed to step it up. Um, one of my favorite parts of Freshers Week though was probably the scavenger hunt that was organized by the Ents reps. And that was just a really great bonding experience. And it was so fantastic because I hadn't been in Oxford at night before and I was in a group of people, so it was you know safe. And just absorbing all of that like grandeur the architecture and exploring this city that is actually really empty at night was such a wonderful experience for me and I do continue to go out on my walks in Oxford with friends now and I just think it's a great way to have conversation and experience a little bit of peace in a very busy city. Um, yeah we we do night we do like our night walks. Um, Aidan if you would maybe like to um, go next. Sure um, so following suit I'll go with sort of least favourite memory first uh which would probably be on the first night of freshers i went a little bit too hard with the drink um and <laughs> ended up falling over a few times uh and getting wheels back to my room in a wheelchair uh which was not probably the best start to uh to freshers week it was a bit disorientating waking up in the morning in a room i don't live in having no idea how i got there um but actually uh, I was checked upon multiple times by people throughout that day. The next day, it was really nice actually seeing everyone coming along. I remember Anna popping around at some point, making sure I was alive, and um, one of the welfare deans did the same. So it was quite good to know that there was the support there, even if you've been uh, a little bit, um, a little bit foolish in how much you've uh, had to drink. Um, they were still very caring, and I was looked after in a new environment. It was quite a good, good experience, maybe. Um, I think sort of favourite memory from Freshers Week was sort of the independence of it all. I really liked being in my own place and being able to sort out my own timetable. Obviously, there's the events run, but deciding what I go to and yeah, meeting new people in a new place. I really enjoy just having all these new experiences. Um, and I think what Rio was saying about the house of party was probably what I was, I was thinking as one of my favourite set events because it was really nice getting to know just a bunch of people well. Um, so obviously that came out of um, COVID was the reason it happened because we were obviously um, sticking to the guidelines. But it was nice getting to know the people I was living with, um, just getting to know the people at college in general. It was good just having a new set of people. Um, 
another thing I really liked about Freshers Week, which might not be the same for everyone, is how busy it is. I'm the sort of person that enjoys having a full timetable, uh, particularly when a lot of it is just funding. Um, so I really like just sort of going from one thing to another, having all these different experiences. Um, it's very much on my street. Um, cool. Thank you. Thank you all for your um, insights. Um, the last question that I had thought about today was um, if you have any advice for freshers that are starting this year or just in general. Um, I guess, Aidan, maybe if you would like to go first. Yeah. Um, I would say my main piece of advice is that it's quite normal to be stressed. Um, it may feel like there's a lot going on, and as we said, there's, there's work happening, there's all these different events. Um, it's quite normal to be a bit anxious, or to be a bit, a bit nervous, or feel out of your comfort zone to some extent. Um, to not think that something's wrong with you or anything like that, I think it's important to bear in mind that it's a new situation for everyone. Um, then it will take time to sort of acclimatise to a completely different environment. Oxford is a weird place. Like, <laughs> I've never been anywhere there's this sort of situation before. Um, so yeah, don't think that you have to fit in straight away. It's normal to take a bit of time to adjust and let's see what hits for you. Cool, thank you. Um, I totally agree with you. Um, I guess that would also be my advice to just um, don't stress too much about, uh, about Freshers Week. Just try to enjoy it. It's easy to say it's more difficult to be done if you're actually feeling a bit overwhelmed. Um, but yeah, I guess the advice would just be to, if you do feel overwhelmed, just know that probably everyone's a bit scared or worried or, you know, not really sure what's going on. And it's just a lot to take in. So uh, yeah, don't worry. Don't think that anything's wrong with you. Um, M, if you would like to go next. Yeah, so following on from my least favourite part of Freshers' Week, I think a big part of my advice to Freshers would be to learn to look after yourself and recognise that you deserve self-care and to put yourself first. Because um, in Freshers' Week, there's so much going on, it's very easy to forget to take a little bit of time to yourself and make sure you're doing OK. And if that involves reaching out to people, then please do so. Um, following on from that, um, if something does happen that you think is not OK and you feel discriminated against in any way, I'd hate to bring it too serious but reach out to your relevant representative they are there for you this is why they're there and they will do all they can to help you and to make sure that the situation is resolved that is a really good advice um yeah self-care is very important and really good that you mention it um Rhea, if you would like to go next i think yeah just following on from what emma and Aiden have said like um uh, don't second guess yourself as much as or I guess I'd want to say as much as I did for most of Precious Week as in like when, you, when you're meeting new people it's really easy to just doubt how you'll do in that kind of social situation or to think that everybody's going to be way, way different from you and have a lot of different experiences and you won't quite fit in but I, I guess it's easy to say hard to do but if you can don't second guess, guess yourself as much everybody is most people are nice, like they won't, you won't approach them with them having some sort of ulterior motive or not like, like more mean thoughts behind your back. Like everybody wants to make friends in Freshers Week and it's, it's really easy to get stuck in your head and doubt yourself when you're trying to make friends like that. But just trust that everybody's in the same boat as you. And in, in terms of, wanting to make friends, wanting to adjust, wanting to adapt. And like, just sometimes it takes being a little bit more brave and just talking to people who you maybe wouldn't normally talk to and finding out that actually you really do get on and you're maybe a little bit outside your comfort zone, but it's worth it for the end result. Yeah. Uh, cool, thank you. And with that, I think we're gonna end today's podcast because we um, have been going on for a while. I hope this has been interesting for you guys. Um, and thank you so much, uh, M, Aidan, Ria, for joining us today. I think it was really, really good to hear about all the things that you've got, got planned for this Freshers Week. Um, obviously, we've only talked about what Freshers Week at Oriel looks like, um, but most colleges uh, will be running uh, similar events. And um, yeah, 
So that's all we have time for today. Uh, thank you everyone for uh, watching or listening to this podcast. Um, yeah, remember to follow us on social media. And until next time.